This episode is dedicated to Coach Reynolds. All right, this is the new challenge, six inch raise challenge. As you see, I start out with my samurai bow, getting my mind right for the day, getting my mind right for the challenge. Then I immediately jump into the six inch challenge. See my back is slightly raised off the ground as my feet are raised six inches off the ground. Palms facing towards the sky. During this challenge, I couldn't help but think about Coach Reynolds, my sixth grade coach who gave me this story about a young man trying out for the Boston Celtics. The young man was extremely arrogant and confident that he would make the team, but the first time around, he got cut. The young man went back home, was very upset, was sad, didn't train, ate poorly, and just was just got out of shape in less than a week or two. Two or three weeks later, the Celtics called back and they asked the young man to come back and try out. He had to leave the next morning. The young man was not prepared because he was too busy being sad and crying about his prior situation about being cut. So the young man makes it to the second trial. Of course, he got cut the first day. What Coach Reynolds was trying to tell me, the moral of the story was, what if that young man would have been prepared for a second chance around? Would he have made a team? Or would he have made a better impression on the coaches? We would never know because the young man gave up and he didn't work. That instantly motivated me to try harder in everything I do. I have failed many times over, and after every failure, I only had one mold, and that was to go harder, be stronger. As you can see, this challenge is getting to me a little bit. I'm shaking my head. I'm thinking about the situation that Coach Reynolds taught me. And I'm thinking I would never quit. I would never fail. You can never fail if you don't quit. Again, you can never fail if you don't quit. I'm getting through the last few minutes of this challenge, going as hard as I can. I hear the buzzer go off. Don't matter. I'm still going through it. I'm in, for, in it to win it, start to finish. And I wanna get my extra credit work in as well. As the timer goes off, I hold the pose for a few more seconds. And then I'm done, prepared for the, for the rest of my day. David Chancellor Graham signing out, AKA Prolific Graham, AKA Coach P. Have a great day. I hope that Coach Reynolds' story inspires you, encourages you, and gets you ready for your day and for the rest of your week as it has done for mine.